hi guys you're welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to draft a princess that with a busty or a princess that's busty i know there are different ways of achieving this out there but i'm going to start with this one and subsequently i'll find out more and show you guys how to achieve this in various ways so let's start with this this is my basic bodice pattern so i'll just trace it out instead of drafting another one in the description below i'll drop the link of how to draft the basic bodies in case you've not seen how i drafted mine so please go there and check so i'll trace every point of it out on the plain sheet then i'll mark it out too I will just it will make our work easier and faster so that's the since it's just the princess that bust here I'm not going to draft the full blouse I'll just top at the waist which is the half length so with this you can do a dress or a peplum top so please let's bear this in mind I'm only stopping at the waist that's the neckline bring out everything so I added one inch for seam allowance so I'm marking that one out because for now we don't need that okay then at the armhole I added 0.5 inch seam allowance too I'm bringing it out because for now we don't need the allowance it's just the actual I'm old that we're going to work with please watch carefully how I'm bringing out the strings then that's it that my dad is um, I'm using the bus to bus distance which is 8 inches divided by 2 so I have 4 inches I'll mark the 4 inches on the waistline bust line to four inches then on the bust point four inches then you connect the straight line so from the bust point you come down by one inch then at the waistline you can you can add 0 0.5 inch on both sides or you make it three quarter inch on both side you understand it depends on what you want but on the other bust you have to mark one inch then you connect it together one inch on both sides then you now connect it to the point you mark below the bust point you can see the shape we have already then the arm hole you measure whatever you have at the cuff divide it by two then you mark the point on the arm hole then on both sides, you measure 0 0.5 inch. Then we connect this to the bust point. It's a straight line. So from the bust point, you also go up by 1 inch. From there, you now connect the 0 0.5 inch we measure together. As you can see. So in order to have a good curve, I will use my to blend it together to blend it as you can see then add those sharp edges to be blending to avoid sharp sharps on the bottom as you can see this is just one of the simple ways of making a princess that posting as you can see so the next thing is to cut it out okay before that please the inches we add the one inch on waistline you add it then on the under bust too we added 
you can just add the one inch like that yes and connect it all the way it is just the same i mean whatsoever you measure on the waistline just measure it all then when sewing you remove you remove the actual thing you added or you just do it slightly or you understand so it depends on the way you want to do it but whenever you are sewing remember to remove the actual measurement you added the actual allowance you added remove it so while cutting the the drafting you remove you add the zero point i added 0 0.5 inch as my sewing or joining allowance there then please let's watch carefully how i cut out how i separate this pattern it's also important please so there should be an extension there so you you have to add one inch to the armhole since we are going to join it please this part is very very important i forgot why drafting make sure you add the one inch extension to the armhole so that the clothes can fall well by the time you join it together on this side it's, that's very 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 important as you can see look at the cuff at least the shape is out the bust shape really comes out so these are princess but still one i promise to read more or find out more about the other methods and i'll bring it to you guys so that you have different ways of achieving this and make sure you smoothing out every rough edges and that is the end of our tutorial today thanks for watching and you can always come back to my channel for more Please, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. Subscribe and I promise you, you won't regret it. And please like and share my videos. Thank you. Bye.